Wow, Fort McMurray. <laughs> it is the 28th, I think, of November. And look at that blue sky. And the weather is plus two today. <laughs> yeah, a bit windy, but hey, I'm wearing my sweater. It's always a plus. Beautiful, beautiful day to walk to work. This weather is really hanging on. What is it? El Nino or I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Birds are tweeting. My mother was saying in Edmonton, there's no snow. We can't really complain here. There's not much here. Just enough to make it icy around at times. You can't have everything. <laughs> My knee is still acting up today. Is what it is. When my knee acts up, I feel like, oh my world, just takes the good right out of me. a constant pain in my right knee which is only going to get worse as I'm on cement floor all day long oh I wish as I was off today oh my god that sky blue I don't even see any clouds in it. <sighs> Sun is really bright that way. This is my fourth week of walking to and from work, or not from work, because my daughter got all skittish about me walking home so late, especially with a bum knee. I miss the evening walks though. Clear blue. Another roof roof. Parking is here. Oh, two roof roofs. Two roof roofs. My little roof, roof was outside in her yard. My daughter is home today. I said, Melissa, let the dog up. Let the dog out. Too beautiful of a day to keep a bird in. I don't like leaving her out when I'm at work because there's just too many crazy people in Fort McMurray that would harm your animal or anything else. I hear there's 
now a girl gang here in Fort McMurray going around beating in people's doors breaking into their homes whether it's true or not I don't know but heard it from one of the girls at work <laughs> disgusting what Fort McMurray is happening to I mean there's always been stuff going on here a lot of it was hushed hushed in the day didn't want to have a bad image but Fort McMurray right now the atmosphere has changed a lot not the Fort McMurray that I used to know used to be able to go to bed at night leave your doors unlocked I know because many nights I came home late and uh, the door was left unlocked for me <laughs> you didn't worry about so much stuff my ex-sister-in-law she never ever locked the door to their home she'd go out all day long and leave the door unlocked Never had a worry, but today, ooh, wouldn't do that today. The wind is uh, blowing a lot today. It's not really cold or nothing though. Walked over when the wind has been blowing and it's been a lot colder. But it's not like that today. I'll walk across the road now before any traffic comes. Got my cleats on. So on the Israeli front, they're, they've extended the war or the ceasefire by two days. Uh, apparently, the U.S. Joe Biden is uh, applying a lot of pressure for them to cancel the war altogether and to let bygones be bygones, but <laughs> I want to ask you something, folks. If your neighbor next to you came over to your home and poisoned your dog, killed your, killed one of your kids, and raped your wife, uh, would you, uh, just say, oh, bye, that's okay. Let's just be friendly neighbors. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's be friendly neighbors and hope Dave's not going to do it again, but you know darn well that they will. <laughs> How many would, uh, condone that? <laughs> I guess that's the word. How many would condone it? How many would, how many people would uh, live like that to, to uh, live next to something like that? Barbarianism. That's what they is. Uh, a lot of the, well, you know, fake news, CBC, Global, NBC, ABC, CNN, BBC, all of them. Uh, they like to give out false narratives. They're saying that, oh, uh, Safeway has released, or Safeway, sorry. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, um, Israel has released the Palestinian hostages. Well, first and foremost, they are not hostages. They are terrorists, people that are in jail for committing terrorist crimes. When you go run down an Israeli soldier or you're purposely going into places where the Israelis are and knifing them, you are a terrorist. And uh, they keep saying they're releasing the women and the children. Well, these are not children. Uh, here in Canada or the US, if you have a 14 or 15 year old that uh, commits a murder or tries to commit a murder, it's going to be trialed in an adult court when it's something serious. And these are what these are. These are not little tiny children running around. These are people who have committed horrible crimes. So I want to caution the world or whoever is listening to uh, pay attention to this because, uh, yeah, the news media, of course, is owned by Hamas. On another note, um, maybe it will do you good to uh, check and see how, many, how much of your Canadian tax dollars is actually funding the Hamas terror organization. Because um, I listened to a really reputable, reputable newscaster. His name is Chuck Holton. He is, he's with CBN and uh, you can watch him on um, YouTube. And he has come out with some pretty astounding numbers as to what the U.S. government has actually uh, given to the UN, which in return gives to uh, Palestine, which is the Palestine Authority, who actually uh, Hamas gives it to Hamas. So, um, yeah, check it out for yourselves. I'll put the, the name of the guy in the description below. Anyway, folks, um, I'm back to my destination. Uh, please pray. There are supposed to be 10 more hostages that are released today and tomorrow. Please pray for their safety return and that uh, little 11 month old or whatever, he's still not released yet. So, uh, heartbreaking <laughs> but good for all the little kids that have been released the little american girl she was uh released day before yesterday i think uh yeah poor little girl she watched both of her parents being uh killed in front of her it's a sad thing but at least she's home now with her uh, extended family. So anyway, folks, take care. God bless. Remember, love each other. Take care of one another. And uh, we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.